All right. So, uh, time to update the tier list. This time I'm doing this on stream instead of doing it like, uh, like early in the morning or something. So this is just going to be me, uh, pretty much going through all the sabers that you can get through gotcha and double checking whether or not they got either a buff or, um, buff or they changed places in the meta like due to like seventh uh ninth anniversary that's that's the main thing and then like any other buffs so like off the top of my head Dio scurry and rama who funny enough i actually just got on an ang he's mp5 now so as an example of what we're doing today all right so yori's not on this list because this is not including welfares so that's how i know all we're doing is just going through these characters we're not adding any pictures today so uh servants main classes saber all right uh so just to make this like really quick and easy we're gonna go through here uh i'm just gonna talk about how they changed uh and whether they need to be moved so first og saber nothing really changed uh the difference is the mana load no like realistically nothing changes with saber you still want mana loading uh this is nice because it means if you don't have these skills maxed out specifically these two uh you'll still be able to double up but again these skills are weak to begin with and you were always able to pop them on to turn uh back to back turns no matter what uh i will say uh depending on how you pop skills you might be able no so my thought process was like double popping in the same turn but the way you farm with artoria that's just not happening because first skill comes off cooldown first so you basically have to wait a turn of not popping this just to pop this twice and you have to pop bitch battery turn two so Pretoria doesn't change uh salter I don't think Salter changes for the like same exact reason. Um yeah. Mana loading uh skill yeah. Skill reloading just doesn't really do anything. Uh it doesn't she's uh she's already popping it back to back turns, so like can't really get faster than that, besides like double popping the same skill in the same turn. You do that with four turn cooldowns. But that always has to happen on turn two. You can't do that turn one. Otherwise, you don't have bitch batteries for uh, future turn turns. Uh, so, not changing. Lily, I'm pretty sure, is on the free to play or welfare tier list because it's an insult to rate, uh, rank her in between or with all these servants. Uh, she like she'll just look worse. All right. Uh, Umu. So this got uh, this skill a it got buffed during. Oh wait, there's, there's no way I don't have Salter. Yeah, so she's up there because of buff. So during um arcade rerun, she got her guts buffed. And it went from a three turn, three times five turn guts on a 10 turn. Like it's still being on a 10 turn, but now it's three times six turns and she gets 20 MP damage when her guts procs and with a full climb. Buff success rate of six turns, MP gen of six turns. And these are not like small 20%. These are chunky 40 and 50%. So her imperial privilege is guaranteed. Uh, her gains are just so much better. Uh, it makes it so if you're not on water side, it really doesn't matter anymore. 
because her MP gain buff is just so much more massive. She is able to do block rail looping, even with a one-hit MP, but I would hesitate to say that that is a good idea. If you're going to do it, at least do it with Shiki, because Shiki might be able to insta-kill. And if not, Shiki will just, like, use cards. Uh, Umu, I mean, technically, you can do that same thing. But, yeah, like, this is phenomenal buff, like, completely outside of farming. Um, like, going from this skill to this is just a noticeable jump. Uh, Umu, I placed on B, comfortably goes to A. Cannot put her in the same category as Gwen. Absolutely not. Um, the main flaw now, though, is that her MP buff is boring as shit in comparison to, like, all her other buffs. It's like, wow, her MP sucks in comparison to, like, I would say even all her skills. No, all of her skills. Her MP is now the worst part. The only good thing part about that uh, good thing about it was defense spears. But there are so many other servants that have defense spears. Like this needs to be longer than a turn. Um, the issue with that is, are they really gonna double buff an uh, an MP like this when her skills are like this? good because her mp does hit pretty fucking hard like it's like are they willing to make this the new baseline probably not so umu is stuck with a gimp mp and that's why i can't put her higher because that mp is just like weighing her down so bad it is unfortunate she got such a like good like good skills but her first buff was like one of the worst possible she could have gotten. If they held off on it, it, it maybe the defense down would be more than one turn. All right, sick freed. So he is a Buster servant, so skill cooldown does have an effect on him. But again, the issue is he cannot pop this battery any sooner, and it's tied to an attack buff. So. Can't pop this turn two. This is the skill that is going to get buffed in the future. Let's be honest. And then there is this skill, which Buster Up and Dragon Power Mod, but a very chunky Dragon Power Mod. So are you able to double pop this in the same turn? Yes. Yes, you are. Is that the smartest thing to do? Hmm. Yeah, no. No, like you, unless it's a one enemy node and it's not, there are no break bars, I wouldn't even think about trying to double pop this. And also, this is a permanent servant. If you're thinking about having two appends unlocked, you have to be at least, oh. Let me bring up my chart. Let's bring up the chart. Two of pens. The earliest is bond six MP seven. Or going to bond 12 at MP one. And at that point, like he's not hitting hard. Uh, MP four bond 10, maybe. MP5 bond nine, and it just keeps it'll keep going down diagonal. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna change him. Although his value did. Wait, where is it? Right. So I'm fine with keeping him here because he is literally best in slot for one of the uh, 90 star nodes. Like, I've used Sigurd. It, like, even though it wasn't a buster farming node, or, like, I didn't try to buster farm with Sigurd, there's no conceivable way he actually would have been able to do the node with the same ease uh, Sigurd could do. Even though, yeah, no. I've been saying that Sig Sigfried is bigger than Sigurd, 
for a while because like any like all of his buffs can just go away like and they would just be held up to the same point at with bitch but he has power mods he doesn't so he like even Siegfried is going to do more d damage to dragons than Sigurd this man needs so many so much help and they give him to his MP buff too but yeah not changing him mm, moving on and again this is taking I am going through everything because of the last time I did this was long before uh, ninth anniversary. Altera. So it's actually mm, you could double pop this in the same turn, but you would already be popping it turn one and two anyway. So no change here. You wouldn't be double popping this in the same turn anyway. No change here. And again, you would be popping this back to back turns anyway. No change. It's more of a night. Like, I don't want to even say it's more of a 90 uh, or a multi core thing because, like, most of the time you're not using Vich or double Vich in multi core. It, it, most of the time that's not happening. Uh, Deon. I, I don't. Skill cooldown helps. But no, they have not touched this servant in a very long time. And uh uh. uh no. They're staying there and they don't even They got slightly better, but about as much better as everyone else. Okida. Did she go up? No. No, she didn't, because Okita doesn't really have much to do with this. And she's not someone that can sustain well. So the skill cooldown on quick servants is more for sustain fights. With, and for fights like that, you want more than one turn of buffs. Okita is all about one turn buffs and one turn of, like, one skill for damage. Uh, I don't see the point in changing her. Mordred. I'm pretty sure the reason I put Mordred up here is because Mordred was like the best of all of all these Artoria faces that she could do Black Rail. She had like really good crits too. Um along with doing farming, like her damage is comparable, like super comparable to both of these two. And so she just has more stuff going on. Like, you can use Mordred in a CQ. You could use her in farming. You can only use these two really in farming. Like, Altera has more CQ potential than either of these two. But she is stuck. Stuck to starting at 50. Mordred can kind of do everything. Like, she's not as much of a jack of trades as Artoria, but she's still uh, consistent. Again, she didn't... This buff was, like, the first one. She didn't get another one. Yeah, no. She didn't get a buff this year. It was, uh, last arcade clap. Umu Bride. Same thing. Nothing's really changed. She's at EX because there's no other Saber that's really supporting like her. And truly, like... Quick... If you need raw MP game, there's not really other servants that can give it, like ride so again she's not changing uh shiki same thing now she's on the same level as umu which they do about the same damage uh shiki just has a little more utility but obviously does not have the type of cq uh or wouldn't work in the same type of cqs as uh nero yeah their damage is like pretty comp comparable both ignores defense, um, but Cheeky has Invul Pierce and can insta-kill. Umu has just a bunch of other stuff going on. I believe Umu's stuff is three turns, though. Oh, uh, Shiki, not changing. Rama, this, he is changing. 
They buffed his guts, gave him a heal, uh, 30 battery, crit stars. Um, he can do this back to back turns, uh, with just one bitch battery like being used on him. So, trying to pull off a third one would just be hard in a three turn. He He's like one cooldown away from being able to do this uh, three turns. Which, if he could do this in three turns, it would, or three times, mm, I don't know. It would be pretty neat. But, that charisma. Yeah, he like he's able to do buster farming now. He's just still not going to be that good at it. Um, but just him being able to do it, you can go up to C. Yeah, that's about it. I talked enough shit about him before. Don't need to do it now. Uh, Lancelot. I don't think he anything changes with him. Um. Yes, skill cooldown helps for Tomomo, but that's only going to be the first one. And that's about it, so I don't feel the need to, like, change the ranking. They get summer mode, but again, that's... You don't go up half a tier or a tier because now you get his bonus during summer. Uh, Gwen. Mm. Again, he wasn't already already he wasn't farming. This isn't on a seven. Mm. Yeah, like you cooldown doesn't change anything. Um the D what? Mm. Yeah. If I still place them on... Oh, wait, no. He's uh, B. Right, yeah, no. I can... I see the reasoning for this now. Yeah. Putting him on level with Arthur. All right, yeah. No change. Elizabeth Bathory. Oh, no. Right. Welfare. Not on this list. All right. Moving on, Musashi. So you can't double up hits. This you can do. Actually, this is a case where the double. Okay, yeah. So this is one of those cases where the school skill cooldown actually is pretty important, but like Musashi isn't doing buster farming because no battery, but this skill, you are able to double pop it. And yeah, like you pop all her skills and then you just double pop and you'd actually be able to, Get another buster buff, but at that point you're at you're going from 150 to 200 percent buster, which it's a good jump. But I would rather like have 150 uh, for two turns than 201 and then 100 in the other, uh, especially if it's turn two that gets the 200 percent because like turn two it's not as much HP, so is affected. But not by much. So, same, no change. Arthur. You can double pop this, but that doesn't matter. Stars. Static, 20. Not affected by buff and or skill cooldown and still needs at least one more buff. Yep. Uh, Suzuka. Yeah, I promise. Next tier list, it's not going to be like this. We'll, uh, or next, or 
the recording after next is probably not going to be like this. It's I'll definitely give more time, but uh, it is noon and I am still sober, so I need to change that soon. Uh, Suzuka, no change here. Sure, but like it, this doesn't affect damage, so most people wouldn't care. Um, this okay, this does change because now you have a hundred percent uptime on the charge per turn, and in like normal bitch farming, you will be able to double stack this, and you'll be able to double. Okay, get it? No, you are able to double stack this on turn two instead of turn three, so. Instead of getting 10% per turn, you get 20. Uh, if she's able to do any, get any kind of uh, extra gain, that is 30, but Suzuka doesn't have a battery. She's not a buster farmer. She's like pretty heavy into CQ with a lot of like enemies just flooding in. Um, I'm not moving her a tier, but. This is something to like just look at in the future if she ever gets one like another buff that gives her a battery that there is a chance she might be able to touch black rail. I'm trying like yeah, I I would definitely be waiting on this cuz this I don't think they're going to buff this. I think they're going to buff her Mystic Eyes first. But. I don't know. This has potential. And this is just. This is a good sustained skill. I, I do like this skill. But I always have a soft spot for Suzuko. Is she going up? No. She's the B. She's. She's pretty solid. I would definitely pick her over Rama most of the time. Ah, <sighs> next saber Fran. Don't think anything is really changing with her. Yeah, like okay, so there is something to talk about, and that's the fact that she has so many demerits. Uh, Alco, if you run her with saber Fran, will negate these, which it will stop the drain, but it won't stop you from actually needing uh 10%. But Saber Friend is pretty solid. Um it is notable that four turn, yeah, with skill reloading, like all her skills will be on a four turn. Um I don't think you would actually uh eh, double buster. Yeah, no, that's, there's actually a good chance you'd throw a Vich in. Uh, yeah, like a super recollection, you'd use Scotty, uh, Summer Scotty, probably Vich. And then that skill cooldown actually would matter. Yeah, by turn three, you'd be able to double stack this. And these are pretty low numbers. Not gonna lie like these are aoe buffs buff numbers not personal damage numbers but you know saber fran is pretty uh she's generically good but yeah this is a pretty low chance uh i don't think she needs to change yeah, solid at A. Um, and again, it, it's more personal preference for me. Like, Quick has so many ways to uh, crit. Okita being good at crits as a Quick Servant just isn't, it hasn't been enough for a while. Yagyu, uh, go cool down. He starts off faster. Got a lot of one turn buffs. Yeah. He like he has 100% a raid character that you're doing in two turns. Um 
skill cool that skill reloading just isn't gonna affect a playstyle like this unless you're using Rich. And uh, I mean, I would. Yeah, it, it's it's not gonna affect this the way people would want. You just wouldn't use Vich with him like that. Like you could. He has double buster, but he really like it. it like you gotta get buster on this the turning pop. This now you can't do this back. You can't do this two turns two times. Uh, but again, like you're you're basically turning an art servant into a buster servant at that point. So, again, he'll stay where he is. Oh, Sigurd. Do I have more to say about this guy? I have fucking proof in me doing Storm Pods against Retra of how much this guy's, like, whole kit just doesn't work right. Like, I am pretty done using him at this point. Pretty much, like, once he hits uh, Bond 10, like, I'm not going to be using him for that node anymore just because, like, it's not it's not fun forcing him to work uh, in Greed Farm. Like, Sig Siegfried, I'd, ha I'd probably have less issues with him because, like, him spamming the MP, he has power mods too. Like, Siegfried, Sigurd. In sustained fights, you can use his buffs up really quickly. Enough said. I don't think he deserves to go lower, but I, I refuse to bring him any higher. Oh, I think I'm going to get this in one take. Awesome. Going to make the, like, putting this in the editor real easy. All right. Um... Actually, like, skill reloading, like, makes this work better with Tomo teams. And then th that will help. Yeah, like, actually, like, this being. Oh, my God. I still can't believe this is a cum skill. Water, uh, the toilet, white. This is cum. This is cum skill. Uh... Yeah, this is affected by skill reloading, so slightly goes up, but not by that much. And also, this is a summer servant, so yeah. Mm. Here's the joke. If I change into my swimsuit, men will come in me in the ocean. Uh. Again, if that if that's your thing, um I, I just hope it's legal wherever you do that. If you wanna if you wanna do sex on the beach, sure, just make sure no kids can see it. And it's and it's legal wherever you are. Uh am I changing anything about placement? Nope. Gear mood. I uh, again I I don't think he changes. Oh, the one thing about Mabe, she can double pop uh her charisma, but that's about it. Uh, dear mood for yeah all of his stuff is like you could double pop but like again it's going to the like, where are you getting the skill reloading like the four turns is nice but all of his buffs are three turn or one turn or his major buffs are one turn and then this is three turns it's not offense yeah no not changing. So, actually, this does have 
There's kind of a reason for why, like, he doesn't go up. Where are you? I don't want to say he doesn't go up, but there are two different command codes now. Or I think you can get two copies of the command code that give you buff success rate up. And for him specifically, that's nice because he usually has to change or choose between giving his ally a, a battery and buffing himself up so these are guaranteed uh, for star gen and crit damage. With the command codes, you can kind of play around with it. And these, these would go to a four turn. Yeah, so my judgment on this is that he worked, he'll work really well starting off in a Tomomo team with him, Tomomo, and some DPS that has Imperial Privilege but doesn't have it buffed. Like he could work in that situation for and it would be a fairly like decent tanky team too. Like, it's not gonna be amazing. It's not meta. But like you could use him in that in that way. And again, 20 battery, 20 art. Like a lot of servants are starting to have that. Like this is basically like this affects your refund as much as like John uh on your team affects refund for an arts unit. I believe. I believe her arts buff is 20 and she also has a battery on it. Uh... Yeah. So if the unit doesn't have Imperial Privilege, like John kind of does just as much as um, Lang Ling. So I really can't give let him go higher because if he like if he doesn't have buff success rate on himself there are characters that with one skill can like do a good amount of what he can do now obviously that's i'm talking about like loop farming at that point so take that with a grain of salt but yeah like if you're gonna pick a four star it'd probably be caster gill not him, unless again, Imperial Privilege, and they've been buffing Imperial Privilege a lot. Benny Enma. You got a buff, right? Yeah, she got a buff. Uh, 40%. So, was this? So, she got 30% arts and 30 battery. am keeping her in a plus though but something is gonna happen uh later on but this was this was a really good buff for her go cool down again this will go down to five and then decent uptime if you're using her with tom ball nothing else really changes but something to note she does have a 20 battery or 50 percent battery uh, which definitely her main competition do not have. But she is held back by, not held back, but she needs to be fighting chaotic or evil or her advantages kind of just fall off. But chaotic and evil are two separate mods. So she does really, really well against chaotic evil and better and okay against either one. Lakshmi think they got another buff no it's just the buff is now on na um skill cooldown does affect it and honestly you would use her in more sustained fights yeah is remove offense yeah I would use her like more in a sustained fight, like what I'm talking about against uh, Vitra. But they're not exactly fantastic. B, fair. Yeah, so this is me going through this is really, really is just confirming like 
the skill cooldown it was mainly for buster and arts quick if they get it it's from a sustained fight where their crits are carrying their damage not really their skills that much at that point which again is more of a greed farm thing most people don't play that way it's just something that makes playing that way easier uh stolfo didn't get any buffs Yeah, again, you're probably not skill cooldown reloading. Third skill is still a mess. Yeah, nothing else really changing. The O Scurry. They just got this third skill buffed. They got this higher, and they got a battery. However, after using Trong Sisters, I'm not willing to put Dioscuri on a level all their own. So Benny Enma, and I'm also swapping these two. So reason being, Dioscuri, I probably rank them higher than they should have been. Because their skills, I always have felt, are weak. Benienma's skills are definitely not weak. Even though they got pretty similar buffs. Her skill set it was solid to begin with. And it was better. The Oscuri, they had a one skill that really made their name. That worked well with the MP. And then everything else was kind of butter. Strong Sisters. But, oh yeah. because So that's the difference. These two, really good in single target farming trunk sisters can do more than just single target farming and really help out in multi-core benny Anma can also help out with multi-core but not but more so for mixed classes for multi-core like uh because she doesn't really give generic buffs or no she gives generic buffs not car buffs while they give mp gain uh along with some of their other stuff so it's more catered to using the same supports like sorry if i'm like kind of jumbling stuff up but cldr the gap isn't so huge that dio square is so much better than these two they're pretty much like in line with each other benny emma shoots up to ex if you're fighting chaotic evil Trunk Sisters, EX if you're doing multi-core, Yo Scurry, more for a boss fight. Um, but yeah. The difference me switching up these two, however, is a different story. It's because Charlemagne works in harder fights while Okita and Okita, like, despite having defense removal, uh, if the defense is not removable, they're not doing shit. So that's why I swap these two. Charlemagne is for me better in sustained fights. Uh and outside of him having buffs, he will still have high, good damage. Okitan falls off really hard if she doesn't have buffs or her skills are uh, on cooldown. Charlemagne still has a lot of damage if his skills are off cooldown. Uh yeah, so that's this one done. Uh, Charlemagne done. Strong Sisters. Yeah. So knocked off a couple. A little early is fine. Tomoe goes in. Also got a buff. So, And it was the MP buff. Yes. She got an MP buff and she got ramp up on her MP for Arts and Buster. So two pronged. More damage. And better refund. I am... And I've seen her work. She definitely goes to B. Like, you don't get better refund and better damage on an MP and stay C tier. And again, like, she has easy, easy Honey Lake synergy. 
and she doesn't have Invo Pierce in her kit. So she unironically is like a really good poster child for like using Honey Lake. You don't have to run, worry about running command codes. The more you spam, the more you'll get burned. You do want one burn command code, though. Just because the burn applies after damage. Okay. Saito. Nothing really has changed. Yeah, the skill cooldown just makes it so, again, in Tomo, uh, he gets his back faster and probably is going to double stack this. But again, pretty much only if your Tomo is popping like two MPs in the first few turns. It, it's, not noticeable, it's not noticeable enough to like actually change. Maybe Saito gets a buff in the new Guda Guda and his restrictions on this go away. Because I, I don't know why he actually has hit restrictions on the attack up. The crit makes sense. Not this attack up. Like 30% solid, I, I don't think is as, asking too much for him. Uh, yeah. And that's the reason he's an A and not A+. Suna... He's staying in niche no matter what, because if you're not fighting Oni, you, there's no reason to bring him. You are able to double stack this in the same turn if you do skill reloading, and this would make a lot of sense. That's 100% uh, crit for three attacks, three turns. That's nice with the Vich buffs. Um... He doesn't have a battery, so you're probably popping the double Vich batteries on anyway. And yeah, no, you can double you can not only double stack the crit, but you can also double stack the buster up. Yeah, so changes not that much, and it's only a one turn change, so pretty much raid, and that's it. Ibuki Doji. Um, she's not going up. Yeah, she's not going to go up. Like, you can pop this now on turn two. No, you always can pop it. Yeah, you'd always be double popping this on turn two, so no change. Um, You get crit damage a turn earlier and a power mod. But other than that, no change really. Urge was able to frontline only um a super a super recollection against um Beast of Cherishment. Apparently plush um plushy can't make fun of her anymore because of that. Because Melison can't do that, but Ibuki can. That's the that's that's a little funny. Uh yeah, she's at A because I, I really don't like the hit restriction on her. Like, if I don't like it on Saito, I fucking hate it on Abuki. She gets screwed over so much because her extra attack will never get the attack buff. It is actually impossible for her extra attack to ever get the attack buff. And that's annoying. Muramasa, I don't think you can double stack this. If he's getting, um, no, you're never going to be able to double stack this outside of bitch. Uh, Tomo, uh, again, you're not double stacking it. You just have better uptime. Yeah, no buffs. No chain. Vargas. Okay, so she definitely, this goes down to a six, which definitely, It makes her a lot better in what she was already doing. Um, she has less downtime on this the first time. Might give her a little more potential with farming, but she just needs a buff to help her out. Maybe that's next month. Hoping that's next month. Um, like some 
kind of buff to like give her more lethality just would be really, really nice. She definitely doesn't need the buff though. Or no, I do think she needs the buff, but it's like it's a buff to make her better, not to fix her. Like I, I don't need my Vargas to be doing farming. Uh, yeah, she's solid at uh, A plus, just because she does. Need, she needs a buff that gives her like hard defense. I will take a hard defense buff over battery any day of the week with her. Easily, will take a hard defense guts invul something for her to tank at MP and like be able to like last long enough to get it, like be able to do that skill again. Yeah, no, because her MP has skill cooldown. Uh, if she gets any kind of buff that gives her like hard survival defense, you're not putting Vargas down at that point. All right, these three, not uh, really talking about it. Uh, I will say Charlemagne. Uh, the skill cooldown makes sustain like a lot better to put these at five. So these uh, it lines up more with this skill. Because there are a couple times where like the six turn just comes back at a weird time. But that also is more me not having my skill cooldown at six. It's at like five. So these are not lined up uh, the way I want. Roland. Okay, yeah. So uh skill cooldown if you do this you can double stack this skill but there is no reason to even do that because this has nothing to do with damage yeah like this is and also yeah yeah it's you have more access to using this when you need it and in normal like, farming, you can pretty much pick the turn anyway. So, no change for Roland. Uh, three more. Four more. Gareth. No real change besides being able to pop these a turn earlier, but it's tied to her battery. She still needs the buff. Still needs a buff. Okay, Skay. Again, no change. Yep, and you stand on it if you're not. If he's not MP5, you're probably. There are other servants that can do the same type of shit. He's. He's a. Uh, outside of Shinsengumi. C tier buffer. Shinsengumi. It kind of depends. And then MP5 B tier. Yeah, no, actually that's it. If it's MP if it's less than MP5, it's C tier buffer. If it's uh MP5 B tier and then it gets like pluses. Uh if it's you're buffing Shinsengumi. Because then it also depends on how many Shinsengumi are buff being buffed. So like a meme setup versus like an actual setup. Uh, one more after this, and then we're pretty much done. Yeah. Uh, no changes with Medusa. No buffs. Uh, getting these the turn earlier didn't really matter. And Takaru. Uh, skill cooldown just makes this nicer for Tomomo. That that's pretty much about it. No, like round baking changes. That's kind of just the thing with skill reloading. It's only the first time you do it. So, if it was a permanent skill cooldown reduction, it completely different story. But as it stands, this. This append has always just been 
it when it works, it works really, really well. Otherwise, it just it, it the character will just feel better. So, list slightly different. Uh, I feel like I did this justice for more of the characters because in the last six months, I I have used a lot more of them. I use Charlemagne like constantly. Trunk sisters, I use them for multi core and saw like their potential. Dio Scurry, I've used a while. Uh, and have messed around with both the buff and non-buff forms, uh, and then super rec recollections and everything. So all in all, not much changed, but things change anyway. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't skip out on anything. All right, uh, peace. I'm gonna take a break and then play Sparking Zero today. See ya. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.
All right. So we are going to put uh, Yagyu and Arthur on the tier list. Uh, this is being reported while I can't stream because of internet issues. So hopefully this comes out pretty smoothly. So Yagyu's MP buff, I think, is really, really strong for a single target arts uh, saber. Like, they do not give up, give out uh, MP damage buffs for... Oh, is the wrong button. This is the very wrong button. Damn it. Oh, no, this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, no, no, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so. His MP buff puts him higher than Dio Scurry. His ramp up is higher than Dio Scurry. But unlike him, Dio Scurry has buffs that last more than one turn. Um, and also, he has, like, a different card that's being buffed. Is like, Yagyu's only arts. Yoskuri's arts and quick, and their MP is just a lot more spammable. Uh, but it is like up there with Benny Emma. Uh, and Benny Emma doesn't even have a buffed MP. Her damage is, is that good, so if she gets an MP buff. Ooh, scary. She will. She is. She will start giving Musashi a run for her money with a better niche. At that. Uh. But yeah, Yagyu, this is just a really good MP buff. Uh, and it, again, helps his uh, OC in spamming. The higher his OC gets, the higher he can get this up to 100% off some really dumb stuff. And like you lit, like the enemy just like actually won't do damage to you. Um, so this MP, ugh, he missed uh, this MP buff puts him in line with, like, all of uh, competition. Uh, it is, like, or not really all his competitions. It's Saito. I don't think he's, like, going to be on par with the Oscuri Trung Sisters or Benny Enma. Especially because, like, he doesn't have uh, any power mods. He's just, like, a really consistent, hard-hitting hard saber. Benny Enma has a lot more that will last. Uh, and just more usability. Like Dio Scurry, like I mentioned a little earlier, uh, and Saito, like all all three of these have uh, Archers down, uh, so it's fair to compare them. But Yagyu, he's going to need his face cards to fully refund his MP. Uh, Saito, he's gonna need help, but Dio Scurry, in general, I feel they live a little bit more consistently, like for. MP spam and just with their bat like Dio Scurry is pretty much up here because they have a battery. Like Yagyu is held back by his skills being like not great. Saito's skills are decent but not amazing. And Dio Scurry actually has like somewhat decent skills now. Uh it'd be nice if her first skill came with more effects, because if you look at um Hyo and Joe, like, she has her card buff along with her gimmick skill together. And then her other skills are still really good. So if Dio Scurry can get their first skill buffed to give them, like, threat damage or another consistent buff, that'd be just nice. Uh, But, yeah, Yagyu, definitely better than Saberlot. 100%, I think he's better than Saberlot. But now it's time to talk about Arthur. So in my review, <clears throat> I was not happy with his MP damage um, when he's not on niche. But then I thought to myself, like, okay, wait, wait a second. His niche is going to come up more often. Um, it's just not it's like okay so it really isn't um him being able to buster farm it's not that he'll be able to handle um like 
final boss servants easier it's that he'll be able to clear the 90 plus plus waves easier um yeah that's that's how i'm going to phrase this uh in multi-core arthur is going to shine against all his competition that is without question um it's like if you're and with his 30 battery now uh yeah let me actually bring it up yeah so for multi-core he now just works a whole lot better uh there's a good chance uh they're not even going to use him in buster farming again because if he's not getting this like sum and i kind of is a better alternative like harder hitting and you'll probably have more copies of him um but arthur in multi-core he's going to be the hardest hitting he's he's the one that out of all the servants he's the one that doesn't need um to be double stacking his buffs because his buffs are already strong to begin with. Uh, even in, uh, if he's a solo core farmer, uh, in that final wave, even though he's not going to have, um, the super large power mod coming into play, that's more going to be waves one or two. It, it might show up in wave three, but those Spriggins, the, rajas or like the snake ones that like after the first action they always strip all your buffs so if you fuck up your loop on that enemy you're done like you're resetting um arthur is going to like kill them indiscriminately um but he, again he's always gonna struggle versus servants because these are the only servants his Power mod is going to affect. And he's not getting full class advantage. More likely than not, you're going to pick a different character if you're finding the alter egos anyway. Uh and BB. Yeah, I, I rulers are just gonna be better serpent because that's their true uh class advantage. Um but I'm not gonna like slide him. He has like really good skills now. It's it's just his MP. His MP is just like lacking. And even if I want to give him benefit of the doubt that he can do the ninety plus plus, uh, or not ninety plus plus, the ninety star node, or is it ninety star star? Whatever the Vitra node is that you can farm dragon scales on, he might have a good like easy chance of just killing that wave because that dragon counts as super large, but he's going to struggle against Fitra. So he'll have crits to help him out. But again, if he doesn't have his cards to crit on, he just has a lack more lackluster MP. Definitely think it is Good enough to get him out of the reins of the Buster servants that can't Buster farm. Yeah, no, like I, I can't keep him on this tier with Suzuka and Gwen because they're just they're not looping. They can't loop yet. Maybe in the future. There's a good chance fate extra record. Suzuka gets a buff because she's from Foxtail. <laughs> if this year, like, seriously, like, this would be a good time. This year or next year, Suzuka might get buffed because of um, extra record. All right, but Arthur, he goes in A. He's on the same level as Sum and I. And I'm being completely serious about this. Like, Sum and I, like, even at MP1, it can hit like a truck against dragon. He can very comparable. He, yeah, he is very comparable. Arthur, and he has a niche that has a lot more surfeits in it. I just want to show it real quick. Yes. 
a lot of these servants he's class neutral to, but he has more that he has far more use cases to bring against the boss than Arthur does. Because as you can see, six dragon lancers that Sumerai is pretty much just like going to slaughter like no no survivors. All right. Hopefully they do not surprise us and buff another saber tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm going to be really, really pissed. Because once again, once this video is almost done, another saber gets buffed and I don't want to shove it into another month. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.